everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. So we're coming to you live from round two of the Tatooine Galactic Championship Qualifier. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we have Tommy Adams versus Bastian Tysman. Super excited to see this matchup. We have Republic facing off against the rebels the rebellion the rebel alliance and today i am joined by william Haywood on commentary morning everybody and jonah piscani on stats and stuff what's going on guys all right so we're about to let you guys choose that champion but before we do that let's remind you that this round and all of our rounds today are brought to you by gold squadron paint wars if you don't know what paint wars is it is our show painting competition that we uh, we have three painters in every episode facing off they're given a prompt and an x-wing ship and told to go do it give us something cool so uh it has been a lot of fun we're coming up on our season finale this wednesday and uh yeah we have season one uh wrapping up here we're gonna take a few weeks off and then we'll be back with season two and during that break we're gonna be opening up applications for the seasons three and four and uh, that should be super exciting as uh, things continue to evolve and change. And uh, we, we really enjoyed putting on Paint Wars. And I know originally I had said I had been committed for, uh, for at least two seasons. Uh, since we shortened up the season, I basically it's about the same amount of time. So we're committed to about four seasons and uh, excited to see what you guys can do. All right. Well, it is time for us to open up those bets. If you're watching live, uh, or sorry, if you're watching later on on YouTube, it is time for you to put it in the comments down below. If you're watching live on Twitch, it is time for you to choose your champion. Break it down for me, Will. All right. We got some people betting in early. Uh, excited um, for this matchup. Uh, let's start with Tommy Adams. A Team USA player here on the left flying those Republic Aces has Anakin Skywalker in the Naboo Starfighter uh, with Intimidation, Passive Sensors, and Proton Torpedoes. Excellent blocker with the ability to barrel roll before uh, executing his maneuver, utilizing the Force, and also a heavy hitter there if you can. Get your free evade from full throttle. Save your force um, by not having to bear roll and then be able to pick up a lock with passive sensors. You could be shooting that four dice double modded proton dream. So a very good piece there. Plus has the added ability to work with Obi-Wan. Oh wait, no, this is an Ada Obi-Wan. Oh no, this is 7B, Never mind. 7B Obi-Wan here uh, has the uh, configuration giving him that 3 2 3 3 stat line. Um, uh, has a uh, sense to look at some dials, R2 astromech to take weapons disabled for shields. And then, of course, you allow uh, anytime he spends a focus or a friendly at range 0 to 2 spends a focus token, I uh, can spend the force. Uh, to allow them to gain another focus token. Uh, super good uh, action economy there um, between the force and that ability. And then, oh, tried to barrel roll there. It did not work. Uh, that was with, I believe, the fine tuned controls um, where you can spend a force to try a boost or barrel or action. So then, uh, rounding out the list is Plo Poon. And the Delta 7 Aether Sprite as well. This one has calibrated laser targeting to add an eyeball result when attacking an defender in your bullseye. As R2A6 to be able to change your dial, essentially, you're gonna put it on uh, if you're doing banks, you put on two bank and you can increase or decrease it to three or one. Uh, same thing, you can uh, with the hards, you can move it between hard one and hard two. Uh, if you're doing straight maneuvers, you can put it on three, bring it down to a two or up to a four. Uh, so it's very, very useful uh, with that initiative five to line up those bullseyes. Plus has the added benefit to be able to spend the force uh, to either transfer a green token to a ship at range 
zero to two or transfer one orange token from that ship to yourself. So it could be giving focus tokens for Anakin Skywalker to help modify that proton torpedo, um, give it to uh, Obi-Wan uh, so Obi-Wan can use his ability. You can even be slinging evades over there as well. Um, but the main thing we'll probably be see, probably see that ability used for is taking the weapons disabled off of Obi-Wan Kenobi when he utilizes that R4 astromech to heal uh, shields. Super interesting list here. Uh, and we see Blokud and Anakin going hot on that flank, trying to get in behind these rebels. And that's the uh, other side here. We have Bastion uh, Tiesman. Flying the Rebels, you got two E-Wings here loaded out the exact same way. Um, those are Rogue Squadron Escorts. They got, uh, of course, the Experimental Scanners to pick up long-range locks. You see uh, both of them have locked Obi-Wan and Anakin Skywalker. Uh, they have fire control systems, so they can utilize those locks for a single reroll instead of having to spend the lock. You got Proton Torpedoes for those long-range four dice attacks and R3 Astromech to be able to have two locks out on the board at, eight, uh, at one time. Super, super good with those experimental scanners. And then uh, the lady of the hour. This is Miranda Donnie in the K-Wing uh, can spend a shield to increase the primary attack from two to three um, or can decrease it. Uh, to recover a shield if she's unshielded. Very tanky ship. Uh, if you let her just shoot, she's going to be throwing some dice out of those side arcs. Brought some munitions. That's advanced proton torpedoes. That's a five dice range one attack with the target lock. Barrage rockets for a range two to three attack out the front. Um, as long as you have a focus, you can roll three dice. Uh, essentially giving her almost a 360 degree if you count the bombs being dropped. Uh, we got a pair of uh, thermal detonators and then also seismic charges and probably the best upgrade in the list here Sabim Rim uh, has an ion jam stress and tractor on the card and after a ship suffers the effects of a friendly bomb you may remove one ion jam stress or tractor from this card and that ship gains the matching token so you can do some cool things like tractor a ship uh, when the first thermal detonator explodes and then pull it into the second one uh, super super interesting there uh, and with these small bases uh, the tractor the single tractor the single ion are going to be super important and we saw the seismic go off there yeah we sure did the the cloud and by the way uh will thank you so much for for breaking that down so yeah, I'm curious. What what are your thoughts on on the so the seismic charge? Is, was that an offensive attempt, or is this a uh, or, or, or are we just gonna see a clearing of the obstacle field early on? Is that actually is that advantageous for uh, for uh, Bastion? I mean, I think it was just to keep uh, these the Plo and Anakin from flanking too hard. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see what or I'm trying to remind myself here. They did yeah, and Anakin just went one forward and blow went two and just stayed there. So I think it was to prevent them from advancing too quickly. And maybe these try to buy these rogues enough time to sneak back around. Mm -hmm. Um and, and if like if Obi Wan wanted to boost into that, I mean tractor beam, pull them into um Miranda's arc, juice it up. Uh, for a three, three dice attack, had some potential there, but uh, I think it was mostly just to kind of spook those ships. I mean, that that ra uh, range three proton torpedo is very scary for Anakin. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have to imagine, yeah, he was moving after Miranda and the other E-Wings here, so passive sensor is not... Uh, going to be necessary in this matchup but you nah. bring it so you use it kind of situation right yeah you bring it for flexibility because there could be a situation i don't know something something weird could happen a, a ship 
Uh, I actually don't know what the situation would be with these exact set of initiatives, well, but who, who knows? Maybe you want to well, switch something. targets for some reason. Yeah, I mean, something like... Uh, you do shoot after the E-Winks, so yeah. you could, if you had the choice, you can be like, well, whichever one of you two spends your focus on offense, you're going to get Proton Torpedo. Like, mm -hmm. I, you, it definitely has advantages uh, beyond just that. And, I mean, what if Plo and Obi-Wan just kill an E-Wing? Yep, that's well, true. Target just switch it one. up. I think that's the when you can shoot last with uh, passive. That's uh, where the advantage could come from, because you never late. It's two points to never waste a lock action. Yeah, ab absolutely. And we've seen we've seen the mistake where people who have brought passive senses before, they just go ahead and start doing regular target locks, and they get punished for it because they lose the flexibility there. All right, so if we take a moment and look at our Choose Your Champion results, uh, Will, we have a 50-50 split. The audience has no idea who they want to favor uh, in this matchup. I find that really interesting. I kind of want to open up the bets to see if we can get, get a couple more votes in there. Yeah, I mean... Oh, this this is a tough one, tough one. I mean, if I if I'm betting with just the the early engages here, I think I got to give it to uh, Bastion. All right. Well, the, he's I'm getting, he's go ahead. Uh, he, he's getting that flank, which I think he needed to do. He's doing a little bait here um, with Obi Wan. I think he's in a better positioning for the first engagement. My heart says uh, Bastion. My head says Tommy. Not so sure. All right. Well, there you go. A little bit of a split here. Um, it looks like that red E-wing went pretty quick and boosting. But both of them boosting around the corner there, setting up potential hard turns for next turn. And Miranda, a little shimmy shimmy to the left, a little slammy slammy to the right, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Figuring that Obi-Wan's not going to just hard one right there to face two Proton Torpedoes. Uh, so hopefully that buys another round before engagement as Obi-Wan circles around the rocks. And Plo Koon would have to three bank boost to maybe get range. And same, uh, yeah, this, I don't think that boost even gets range here. Looking at that slam from Miranda. Yeah, I think she's I, just just a bit outside. I mean, we just, we were talking about it last game of like kind of getting too rigid in your like uh, this kind of pseudo formation flying the rebels are doing. Mm -hmm. Um, but it it's a hard balance in this matchup because you can't you can't really go one on one against these higher initiative aces. So you had to stick together. But also, you kind of need to widen out your firing arcs. Yeah, because I mean that's that's how you essentially that's usually how you catch catch the aces sleeping a little bit. If you can uh, you can catch them in a couple of different arcs, that uh, that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you're just all in one position, that's just one big arc they have to dodge or range control or whatever the case may be. And again, bear rolls. Are we getting a five straight here? Zoomy no. zoomy? No, I, I think that's a setting up like a three bank next round. Because I'm, uh, I'm retraining my brain during this matchup because I've, <laughs> I'm used to advanced proton torpedo Anakin who's trying to get range one. Right. Uh, this Anakin is trying to get a range three engagement and then close into range one for that intimidation which he is moving after all these guys so the oh, look. intimidation i like i like this i like this sorry i just seeing oh, seeing plo Koon, uh they, they kind of staying a little formation there what obi-wan did hard one or hard two did whatever turned in regardless called these e-wings 
Now, I'm assuming like Plo Koon and, and Anakin are going to have to hit on the gas so that uh, Obi-Wan's not abandoned out there. Of course, that's if offense is even the plan here because you could also see Tommy has that uh, that escape route right there to Obi-Wan's left side to just be like, mm -hmm. nope, not jousting right now. Because mm -hmm. those E-Wings got proton torpedoes as well. Yeah. Yeah, they're shooting four dice all the time. Um, and the E-Wings, I think, made the right choice of prioritizing Anakin and Obi-Wan here. You could, your three agility could hold out against Plo in the end game. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> like, yeah, I would mm. have a better, I feel like I have a better chance against that versus trying to kill a, a Anakin or a healing Obi-Wan. Like, I think Obi-Wan is the game here. I agree. So, like, uh, macro strategy, I think uh, Bastion is doing what he needs to do but did not expect um that turn in really debating it here tommy mm -hmm. uh boost lock let's go <laughs> boost lock 5k let's go boost lock 5k that that would that would be aggressive I mean, uh, I had an issue with my ass, the link I gave him. Well, tell me. Get your act together here. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's what I would do. Boost lock. And then um, figure it out next round. Make him, so make him second guess everything. Mm -hmm. You know? I agree. As we wait yeah, here for our uh, our next round, um, I just want to remind you guys that our upcoming Galaxies events, we have two more qualifiers, and then the weekend of November 2nd, we bring to you the Galactic Championship, the Battle for Alderaan. And uh, I got a little little thematic, uh, you know, Will, I told you that the, the, the rules are changing just a bit. We're going to have a little bit of a tweak in the rules for the galactic championship nothing too crazy just a little thing and and i got a little thematic component coming in as well wait so, did you reveal it yet nope okay okay just revealed that there will be a reveal mm -hmm. That's yep. okay. tease the tease Sweet. yeah i mean there it is lock all right, and it's decided we'll that the E-Wings is, uh, is the choice there. Yeah, let's go. He's straight boosted, which is interesting. I don't know if that lets him. Yeah, he could probably hard one out. Get behind the rock next round. All right, well, here's a three-die shot. Oops, looks like we clicked the wrong button there. Redo. This is going to be a three-on-four attack. Obi-Wan would have to spend two force to do that. I don't think we will. Going to go ahead and spend the target lock since there's no focuses out there. Going to be rewarded. Ooh. Full string, two hits and a crit. Four dice. And you're getting one. Hey, that's a start. That's an unexpected shield. I don't think you were, you were expecting to take that. So that's a win. I failed. Dice box. I, I mean, five, five, I, dice box failed. Sorry about that. Dice box. Always dice box. I mean, I think that's. I mean, the wing got lucky there. Could have lost half his points. I might, I still don't like the straight boost here. Because what? What kind of options we got here? You could hard one. Uh, back between the uh, rocks, you could one bank. I guess. Uh, to meet these E-Wings head-on. That's a bit risky. Um, to come and arrange one of all of those ships. Yeah, I wonder if Miranda was gonna go, uh, for a... Maybe a slam block here, or... Mm-hmm. Can't really turn in. 
you got limited options. Plus, I mean, you got to be thinking about that uh, Anakin three bank or even a four forward. Yeah, I feel Miranda feels trapped right now just a little bit because if, if you're going to be taking maneuvers to get her out of what is going to be the expected shots uh, with Anakin and Plo kind of zooming in here. Uh, you could be slamming around, but then you're not you're not getting shots right now. You're going to be abandoning those E wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to I want to see her in a position to uh, seismic one of these big rocks during the engagement. I don't know if there's a great position for her. She didn't. I think she ended up blocking the E wings. So, and yeah, yellow is in trouble here. Could get pinned down by all three aces. All right, 53 minutes and change left in the round. When we open up the bets again, it looks like we did get a couple more votes leaning Bastion's way. So ending with a 44% uh, voting for Tommy Adams and 55% for Bastion. We'll see what we end up getting here. Anakin and Plo Koon holding up that right side of the board. Obi-Wan in the center. Plenty of options. We'll see where we end up getting the offense or the defense. Let's take a moment and uh, let's have all wings report in. If you are watching right now, let us know where you are watching from. It is always cool to see um, our Gold Squadron community and X-Wing community from around the world. Let us know. Here we go. Miranda. Three bank to the right. I really like that move. I wonder, I wonder what are these E wings slooping out then? Well, you could also slam Miranda at Obi Wan to avoid. It. Oh, never mind. Okay, focus. <laughs> oh, never mind. Maybe just yellow sloops and red hard turns then. Is that the idea here? No, that's going to be a bump. Yep, not quite enough space. Okay, luckily wasn't a traffic jam there. Red found an action. So that one, if Obi-Wan's still in range, should be able to pop off that Proton Torpedo. But you're, you're, I mean, I guess you could do it with yellow as well, but you don't have that fully modified shot, just the target lock. And Anakin, mm -hmm. assuming the uh, the movement of the other ships, going to go ahead and three bank instead of trying to hit that gap on the bottom. Looking good right now. Oh, Does Dan, we were talking about... Okay, it's just, just Miranda here, so... Just grabs the lock action. No big deal. Wouldn't have had a choice anyways. Mm-hmm. Though, yeah, I, I, yeah, from where you were going there is, you know, 99% of the time, you're going to want to be doing that... Uh, that passive sensors instead of just a straight target lock it you know in this case it didn't make a difference but oh okay so we have obi-wan going to the right yeah gonna have to boost for a shot if he wants it you could maybe boost out uh to the right and barrel roll i guess that wouldn't be any different than boosting left would it Hmm. Not angle wise, no. Yeah, you're you're gonna end up in in the arc no matter what. That's a tough position. Do you just wait for? I mean, you had to, you had to shoot. You can't just see two four dice attacks. It'll be fine, right? <laughs> yeah, you got healing drug. You're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Regen Maybe help. will come in and sling you in a maid, just to be sure. Yeah, I mean... Bastian oh, just said, you could always stay there. That's a good yeah. spot. That's good. Take a lock. <laughs> uh, yeah. Barrel out, I guess? He's got a boost. Uh, yeah. He's going to try the boost job. and barrel roll to the right <laughs> to try to get out, but I'm... Maybe... Oh, is it going to get out? Oh, yeah. He's he's good. He's clear. I mean, out of Miranda. Right. But That's the least scary her, shot of the three. With 
her knowing a proton torpedo is coming, unlikely to increase her attack power. Oh, which means the E Wings won't have a shot then. Well, now they will. And zoomy zoomy, here comes Plo Koon. Currently sitting range three, I'm pretty sure, of Miranda, maybe just a bit outside from the yellow E Wing. Right there, we did see the use of R2A6. He dialed in a four and went five. Nice. All Just right. Slows down the focus. Didn't sling it or anything. He's going to do the work himself. I like this. Going after Miranda here. Range two obstructed to try to strip some shields for that proton torpedo coming. Two hits. Gets two hits. Miranda has two agility, one plus the rock, and has the option to spend the focus to avoid one of the damage. Yeah, spend it while you got it. Does, yep. So Miranda leaning on defense more this turn than on offense. And here is Miranda checking. I mean, you had to shoot Obi-Wan here, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Anakin's got range three obstructed evade. Plo Koon's got four dice obstructed focus force. And not quite rewarded. Only one hit and, and a focus. Oh, well, there you go. I know them. Re rewarded heroic. Yeah. Anybody? No. <laughs> <laughs> not these Jedi. Let's see what Brad's got. Nothing from red. Yellow's only got the obstructed range three. Three unmodified reds versus five greens with the focus. And here's the roll. Hey, you got hit crit. More than what you were expecting there. Plo Koon does have plenty of focus modifiers. Let's see if they end up mattering. And yep. Easy force there. Don't even need the focus. Now, as long as you're only spending one, and that gives you the insurance if somehow that red, uh, you know, E-Wing was in range, you just kind of have that little reassurance there when they oh, fire right. it back. Can, the first Proton Torpedo of the game. Four dice coming in. Spend the charge. Has a target lock and the force available. And th man, the kingdom for a focus. One hit, yeah, three focuses. Come on. Help, help that Anakin out. Locks them all. And spends the force. Force for four there. That's going to be three hits and a crit coming in versus Miranda's two agility. One plus the rock and didn't get anything. All four of those are going in, including a crit on the hull. What is that going to be? It is a stunned pilot. For those of you who don't know what stunned pilot is, basically, if you hit an obstacle, you are guaranteed to take a damage in addition to any other effects that the obstacle has. Yeah, not extremely detrimental. I mean, it takes away the option to like slam onto a gas cloud for its protection or something. Takes away those crazy moves. Yeah. Or or does it? You know, there there is or there's also that that, that game of 3D chess where it's like you won't think you wouldn't think that I would take a damage just to fly over this obstacle, but what if I would? Hmm? Well, hmm? I mean she got a shield back, a little bit more likely to do that. True that. Uh, so Tommy here doing an excellent job. Uh, this is uh, a lot of people struggle to understand the ace uh, strategy of what you need to do. And we've seen it in both of these first two games here. Uh, coming in from different angles, um, being able to rotate out uh, your ships. Used Obi-Wan here as kind of a bait. 
to distract the E-Wings and Miranda, um, but slipped out of arc, uh, allowing the other two uh, ships to come in from the flank and put out some meaningful damage. Uh, and now the Ewings and Randa have a tough choice to make. Do we? Do you pursue Obi-Wan here, who's surely just gonna hard one and figure it out later, <laughs> um, right? Like, yeah. no reason for him to bank. Uh, good to sloop, I guess, but it's a bit risky. Or do you turn in uh, on Plo, who's taking the lower lane, or Anakin, who's taking that mid lane between the rocks there. Mm. Um, Tough choices all around. Yeah, the, the the Rebel Squad is just in kind of an awkward spot because that, that rock does a great job of preventing your approach going into Anakin. Yeah, that seems... It seems like it's going to be a... Uh, a, a yeah, tough decision be, there. That would be the ideal. I mean, those Naboos have a one forward. Anakin does not need to come in. Though, I mean, here we go. 4D chess. You Does the seismic bomb reach? No, I don't think it does. Sad. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, you want you want to at least line up Miranda for an opportunity to drop it next round. You might... Just slam her in through that gap if you can. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that would be. Like one bank, one bank. Oh, all right. I, I need to step away for a second. I have a TO issue I got to take care of. I'll be right back. Not Jonah, feel free to jump on with Will. Not no problem. The difficult thing here, um, I think, is, you know, Obi-Wan, like he, Will, you said earlier, it, this game kind of depends on Obi-Wan. He's 82 points um and uh at only two agility you can take him down quick i would have even uh with miranda spent a shield uh to get that extra die just because it was a good opportunity but there's no way this turn um to get the e-wings on obi-wan like on target even if the yellow one does a sloop uh he's going to be able to bug out of it um so i'm not really sure what the best thing to do this turn is uh because it's they're just in a tough spot. Yeah, you'd have to... If Red could maybe three sloop and and not hit that rock and then yellow 4Ks or something. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, that's that's terrible positioning. Uh, I was I was thinking about that three sloop from Red, but yeah, it's, it's tough too because, like, one, I don't think the three sloop fits, but just completely turning your back on... Plo and Anakin seems uh, dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what uh, Tommy's going to do with Plo Koon. Um, and if he could use R R2A6 uh, to his like advantage here. I feel like you just dial in the three. And then if Miranda drops the bomb, she can go back down to two. If she doesn't. Um, and the E-Wings turn in, you could bring it up to a four to boost bear roll out of their arcs. Mm, that's a good, I like that. It's a good plan. Uh, I don't think the one bank, I mean, unless you, you'd have to commit to the hard one, right? You can't utilize the droid if you're just going to hard one mm -hmm. through the gap. But I, I think you should try to keep all the three angles or the, all the three lanes, um, from your approaches here is Miranda just dipping yep uh, she's slamming but that's that's a far way around um and has the seismic I think for the big rock on the top Ooh, that's close actually does she have the one in the middle do you think yeah that's what I'm thinking ah that's I oh it's so ooh. close um so we'll see the E-Wings here, uh, just going too straight. Just waiting for Anakin to come through the middle lane. Uh, joke's on you though, E-Wings, that ship can barrel roll before it moves. So it can barrel roll, go behind the gas, or behind the rock there. Uh, depending on what is, I mean, if he doesn't have a three forward dialed in, which I would definitely have the three forward or one forward dialed in. Yeah, it, uh, it is good to remember that, uh, 
um, for those in the audience who may not be able to see it, uh, that the, both E-Wings have a lock on both Obi-Wan and Anakin. And so if Anakin... Oh, never. Well... Ooh, okay. I like that a lot. He he got the full throttle. Um, he has the... Uh, I think he might have... No, he doesn't. He doesn't have the obstruction, but uh, it's a really good position. Well, now he has the obstru- uh, obstruction, but he now could just does. punish Miranda. Um, yeah, Red Ewing might be out of range as well for that Proton Torpedo. So, mm-hmm. excellent call there. This is, like I said, this is classic ace play. Uh, the moment you think, uh, or the moment you let your opponent think that they have an opportunity to jump on an ace, it dips. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, well, we saw Obi-Wan do it last round. We're like, oh, you think that we're going to play this game? Well, I am, but you're not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to jump around uh, your arcs. And yeah, we have Plo Koon here. Easy two forward. And boost. And it's a great up. position. And the great thing about Anakin's positioning is uh, Miranda is disarmed. And so there's really no consequence to that shot, uh, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And she can't heal up. Normally, uh, right. first yeah. player Miranda could t- grab a shield quick is essentially like taking in a deplete for a, an evade token. Mm-hmm. Come on, think about it. But it's that's it's basically that with extra steps. But mm-hmm. uh, let's see here: two evades, two hits, and two hits, two evades um, from Plocoon there. And Obi Wan's oh. got uh, the lock on yellow. Who's already a shield down? Mm-hmm. Just two hits here average uses a lock to reroll um we'll spend the force for a full string that's what you want to see yeah that's why you brought the force uh two evades keeps the damage on the shields but loses half points on yellow oh never mind uh yeah first points of the game um uh, Miranda's, yeah, uh, only took four of nine. Red, once again, just out of range. Red, you wow. got to get in this fight. Uh, so that's going to be an obstructed Proton Torpedo here, fully modded. Uh, but Anakin will have three dice, force, and evade. I don't think uh, that's going to hit. Do it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I don't think I mean, you fire it. <laughs> No, no, you got four dice on his three. I think uh, you have to. You have to. All right, here we go. Four dice, two hits, a focus, and a blank. Fire control system um, for the reroll. Got the crit. And force for four. Sorry, focus for four. And looks like you are going to be getting... Oh, hold on, we got one more die. Obstruction. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, one through with the evade. Spend the spend the evade and plink it away. It's the first shield. Yeah, but man, I, I, I feel mean, I feel that like was you the expected result, Dion. Like you have to get four to do a damage. Yeah, but I I feel hmm. mm. it. It just feels <laughs> like it's a question. Of, was it worth it? Was was it worth uh, it? I mean, red's or yellow's gonna die, so you might as well, right? Like you're right. already taking three shields. Right, it probably yeah, it won't survive another engagement. Well, here we go. Anakin, range one, uh, only going to be a single hit, spending the force, and still going to be able to uh, to push that through. It's going to be another damage card there on Miranda Doni. That uh, hits the half point threshold here. That brings our score right now, sixty-five to zero in favor of Tommy. Tommy seems to uh, really have an aggressive and uh, strong position going into this next round. I actually really, really like where he's at because the E-Wings can't really turn around to defend themselves against those uh, those Jedis. are going to end up being unmodified. Um, mm-hmm. Miranda isn't really around to help. Maybe, d- does she drop seismic charges right now? She had, I mean, unless you're slooping those E-Wings in, uh, you, you have to do something here. Uh, it's just Tommy just doing what triple aces do. Uh, 
knew that Anakin was going to be a potential victim mm -hmm. for the E-Wings and just bailed. Uh, just doing an excellent job rotating these aces and getting um, two of them basically uncontested here each round. And yeah, they, I mean... The E-Wings are going to have a tough time here. E-Wings are jousters, like, it's the kind mm -hmm. of the rebel way. Um, they're not as maneuverable as a lot of other ships um, with three agility and repositionings, you know? And yeah, this is going to be tough. Because, like, those Jedi, hard one. Just keep on the fight, like, whatever. If you just got it, if you can kill that yellow E-Wing, uh, the the chance for success is way up oh yeah the, the it becomes a significantly easier game like by by yeah. by by many times yeah miranda's struggling to get bombing positions and those munitions off it does have those barrage rockets and advanced proton torpedoes but with these quick aces they're not gonna be in our front arc not anytime soon i wonder yeah, we have the possibility to see a Sabine trigger here if those seismic charges can do something. Uh, remember, Sabine has the possibility of giving the tractor jam, ion, or stress. I'm looking specifically at that tractor and ion. Those are usually the most powerful uh, effects uh, from the Sabine uh, trigger. Yeah. Uh, right, if you're facing small bases. Right, which, I mean, in this case, you have th those three... And you got Obi Wan, Plo, and and Anakin mm -hmm. there. I think Anakin's probably the most susceptible. You do have a possibility if the let's go. Let's think about tractor. So if uh, if Anakin is anywhere near the very top left rock, that one blows up. You could potentially tractor it onto the rock that's in the center of the board. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Do we see? Do we see like a three sloop? from yellow that maybe like a one bank from red like I, I just don't know where tommy's doing such a great job of rotating the aces like i don't know where the e-wings should try to engage oh well, we got some bombs going down yeah it's it's a little bit tough i mean you were you were saying earlier you know the red e-wing uh being out of the fight not having range is is tough i feel like you need to you need to give some space for that e-wing to to scoot up if Anakin is your target. Seismic charge is the bomb of choice for this round. One straight focus. I mean, with yes. Mar oh, there's a sloop. You called yeah. it, Will. Yeah, I think that was like the only position that doesn't put you in bombs. And the one, bam. One hard. Okay. I feel like that's a bit of an overcommitment here. You could potentially end up blocking Obi-Wan Kenobi, but Poe's uh, Plo is going to eat you up. Yeah, Plo hard one. Range one bullseye. Let's go. Take a lock. Spend your force. All right, Anakin making tough decisions here. Mm -hmm. Does have that bear roll. I think it's open to him um, either way. Ooh, no, probably not to the left. I mean, because you, you know, you know, this hesitation is because of that seismic charge. That means that oh, yeah. some something with Tommy's uh, maneuvers is making it so that he has a little bit of doubt. Oh, the four straight. Yeah, that's free evade. Take your boost, uh, and then. Hard three back in through now what is an open area because that asteroid's gone. Yeah, excellent, excellent play here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tommy's gotten out of range of the seismic charge. Um, there's the bump. There's okay. the bump. So that that yellow E wing is gonna have to do some work. Um, hopefully, just just has to survive. Just survive, little E wing. Cause he still he didn't spend the lock on. Obi Wan, did he? Mm. It should still be out there, right? I don't see it. I don't see it either. I see one on Anakin. I'll ask. 
Yeah, I'm trying to think. So yeah, he's gonna go ahead and pick the rock that oh. wouldn't damage his his uh, his friendly ship. So that top left one is going off the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, the seismic charges in Sabim direction is very interesting because Sabim only looks for when you suffer the effects, um, and that effect is taking a damage from the obstacle. Uh, so it, I think it actually increases the area that you can actually Sabim trigger. Uh, equally as dirty with thermals when you can drop two bombs and even if the bomb e even if the bomb doesn't do damage the effect is rolling so it mm -hmm. still works out all right obi-wan here starting us off the single hit on that e-wing won't be enough to kill him and here we go looking for a big money roll oh, oh look, 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 look at the natties Yeah, just going to take the CLT shot. If you would have put the E-Wing down to one health, maybe you shoot at it, but not the case. And here we go. We have the focus set aside because of calibrated laser targeting. That's three. Two hits and a crit. This E-Wing is currently untouched. That might change, though. One dice out the box. There's an evade. And that's going to end up being one damage, putting a scratch in the paint of that E-Wing. Next up, we should have the um, is it Miranda or the E-Wings up. Yep. Rebels are up. Miranda can get a free shield here uh, just by shooting and evading Anakin. We'll see if she takes advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. And there it is. Let's go ahead and uh, and grab Miranda's cards. Go ahead and read that ability again. Because we that's, we actually haven't seen Miranda regen on our stream in a really long time. So while you perform an attack, a primary attack specifically, you may either spend, one, this is the part, spend one shield to roll one additional dacti, or the second half, which is which is what was just done. If you are not shielded, you may roll one fewer die to recover shield. So uh, That should bring her back up above half points. Oh, no, that's still four damage. Never mind. No, four of nine. No, it does. Yeah, yeah, four of nine. Oh, big conversion oh. here. Did have the target lock. Uh, it was hidden out there. For the big, proton torpedo. Big money. Look. Two hits, two crits. So, got one evade here. Two shields and the crit lands under. And it is a... Is that... Wounded pilot. Wounded pilot for the Republic. That is when doing action is going to be forced to roll a die on a hit or crit. Take a stress. Yeah, super super impactful with the fine tune controls ship ability that would allow you to spend a force to boost a barrel roll. Um, because then if you fail your wounded roll and get that stress... Uh, you won't get a perform action step then. The, that's right. Just t takes away that all together. So, so it's risky. Yeah, it's risky. But at the same time, if you like, if it works out, great. But taking the risk <laughs> to even to even do oh, the yeah. uh, the fine tune controls, you know, uh, to to end up guaranteeing that you have the action to flip that down uh, is good. But then essentially you are spending two potential actions to guarantee that this bad thing doesn't happen mm -hmm. and those actions can be very valuable yeah and now obi-wan's in a, a tough position because if you do try to stay in the fight here you have to contest with the wings again um and you don't really have a great exit lane i guess you could Five straight. Ooh. 
I think you can get just barely past that rock. I mean, when in doubt, five out. That's what I always <laughs> say. But what if you don't have a five, Will? What if you don't have a five? Uh, you uh get a better <laughs> ship, man. <laughs> I guess you're not leaving. If you don't have a five out, you better town roll or K turn then. Like, uh, stay in the fight, I guess. Can't five out? Time to tap out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All righty. We have 24 minutes left in this matchup between the Galactic Republic and the Rebellion. Uh, Things seem to be going Bastian's way, but I mean the score the score is close. 34 41. And uh, you know, single half points on any of the ships will make a swing right now. Uh currently momentum wise, things are a little worrisome for Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's uh Tommy Adams Delta 7 here. Um, but on Bastian's side, he also has, you know, uh, half points already taken on the yellow e-wing and miranda you know miranda even though she's recovered a shield she's down to only five health and with one agility can be taken down on a single turn if those uh if those republic ships decide to to all converge on it couple people in the chat suggesting that another seismic be dropped. I mean, that is definitely a possibility. We will see. Was anybody who listening who and watching right now, have you guys watched? Uh, did you guys watch our XTC coverage last weekend? I will say doing two weekends in a row of weird time zone uh, has been a little tough. <laughs> Uh, I I I mean I don't know I don't know about you Will and Jonah but I'm on the I'm on the struggle bus right now I'm like smacking myself I'm pinching myself uh, standing at my desk kind of doing jumping jacks with the with the with the microphone muted to keep myself awake get the blood flowing. I'm also standing uh, just stretching out trying to wake up a little bit. I did not get as much sleep as I would have liked. I. Uh, Woke up two hours before the event, and I just could not go back to sleep. So. Yep. Yeah, I try. I usually try to go go to bed early, but uh, w there there was a. Uh, this was my fault. I miscommunicated a cal like today's calendar date, so Mrs. GSP uh, had booked a a uh, hair appointment for last night, so I had to wait for her to to get back home. Uh, before before I could go to you know, go to bed because you know putting you know, taking care of Arwen and everything like that, so yeah I I went to bed much later than I had I had mentally anticipated but it's my own fault for not putting it in the calendar guys put it in the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh look at this blocking attempt here from Yellow I like that. I mean, it, it puts it in a safe place. Those Jedi would uh, would be ha would have to have turnaround maneuvers dialed in right now in order to get access to those E wings. Yeah, we saw Miranda slamming around. I think that's a good call as well. She's safe for now. Uh, we're going to need her in the next engagement. Get a passive, maybe target lock action here. Red finally gets a piece. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you can bear roll back and out to avoid range. Do you just trade torps here? He's going for the bear roll out. Ah, that's so close. Getting some space, yeah. I do not know if that got out of range three. It's a very, very close. It, it is close, and there's a proton torpedo. Waiting in the tubes. I feel like I think it's still in range. Yeah, I, I'm pretty confident that it would be, but Tommy thinks it will get out. We have a weapons disabled here. One bank. There you go. I like that. Get the shield back. Wouldn't have had a shot anyways. <coughs> Flo going to decrease it here and bumps into the yellow rogue. Not Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. Great blocking position there. 
and and because that is the case that means that the clt the calibrated laser targeting uh will not be active because the bullseye is not on that uh, obi-wan kenobi here we go three dice range one triple focuses i see you and uh choose violence so you want him to spend the uh, the force tokens spend two, two yeah. of them no we shoot that blow you're fine yes going for it oh all right two oh, blanks bam. and a focus you're gonna need that focus if you're gonna hit that anakin but he's gotta spend it to keep above half points yeah, but it's a resource least... game now at least there was a damage there. Yeah, I mean, violence paid off. The evenings have been rolling pretty good defensively up until this point, so this was the time. Yeah, and that is still in range. range. Proton torpedo coming in. This is going to be four on two. No obstructing this obstruction to save you now, Anakin. Yep, has FCS or the lock. Or and the lock. I guess they're kind of the same thing. Uh, Anakin still got force and evade though, so oh, pretty pretty nice. much guaranteed to get two. Can I spend it? Yeah, I just spend yep. it outright. Two hits, two focuses, digging for a couple more results. And didn't Jeez. come up with anything. That's gonna be a lackluster torpedo. Hit crit. And yeah. Anakin that's... drops both for two. Yep. Evade force, super good. If you like consistent defense, that's how you do it. The pirate gets a free shot back. Two on three. Two on three. Here we go. Here's the roll. One crit and a blank. And that's going to be safe. I can see that more parts of the world are starting to wake up. That viewer count slowly rising as as people climb out of bed, look at their their devices, and see Gold Squadron is live. I'm like, oh, they are. Let's go. You could set us up with your uh, with your Saturday morning breakfast. Keep watching that live X Wing here, coming to you from the Galactic Championships. Or who knows? Maybe you're still awake from uh, from the previous day. Like I am, um, <laughs> I don't. I don't count what I did as uh, as as actually sleeping. I was more of a of a light nap. So right now our score thirty four forty one. I mean, do we think? Do we think that uh, Bastion's going to end up taking this? I mean, the, the Jedi have to be maybe a little, or at least Obi-Wan has to be a little more cagey now that uh, mm. he's taking some damage. Mm. Uh, I think I that this game will heavily depend on how relevant Bastion can make Miranda um, in these last few rounds. Um, with the E-Wings really bringing it all together. I 100% agree. Yeah, I mean, she, she's got that open lane. You could just one bank here, maybe start, uh, well, took the two bank. Focus up for the barrage rocket attacks. I think that's ah, too close though, because now you have a blind spot that Obi-Wan can get to. Uh, like a three bank boost. Could get him into range one. Um, we see these E wings slooping out, slooping K turn here to try to keep fire on Obi Wan. Made a little kill box for him. And three bank for Anakin. Good night to Lan Bolo, who's starting to crash. Take a nap, my friend, and we'll see you later on, maybe. <laughs> well, we'll be at this all night. 
day, morning, I don't know. <laughs> time, time is relative. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Later. <laughs> <laughs> right. Alright, so we see a bear roll in there to get a range one shot. Guarantees the shot. Wasn't sure if he had it um, prior to that. Alright, it'll be on and blow. This is the decision. So you can get the shield back to go up uh, to get your half points back on Obi-Wan. But you're not going to be shooting unless Plo Koon doesn't shoot as well. So, tough tough choices here. Alright, and Plo deciding to go with a two bank and sticking with it. No changes with R2A6, which allows you to go one speed higher or one speed lower than what you dialed in originally. And Plo deciding to do a fine-tune boost and get a little bit closer to that red E-Wing. Looks like we're trying to scoop up half points there. I'm surprised he didn't bear roll to shoot yellow in Bullseye. I'm, he must not have the room for it. Right, here's the big decision here. So with Plo spinning the force there, cannot take the uh, weapons disabled. So we see Obi-Wan keeping um, that R2 charge. Mm -hmm. And just going to make the most of his time here. If they could do four damage to an unmodified E-Wing up there, they can take it off the board. Got six modified dice thrown at it. That's good chances. Good chances. Uh, Yellow spent the lock, so it's going to be unmodified back on Obi-Wan. And I think Miranda would have an obstruction attack on Obi-Wan as well. So uh, we, we did just have a wounded pilot trigger, by the way. Yes, that's why Obi-Wan is stressed now. Well, I'll slow him down. Obi-Wan could know. Excuse me. Uh, Plo Koon firing range one. Hit crit. Yeah, spend... Violence. That's going to be two hits and a crit coming in from po from Plo. And one gets through. Almost natties. Not sure if you guys saw that. It started on the natties and kind of rolled away there. So half point uh, score. Tommy back in the lead, 68-41. We'll see if it lasts. Yeah, needed that. Needed that. And one hit now. Obi-Wan to the E-Wing. Yeah. Chose the wrong, chose the wrong action here. Could not choke. wrong, but you know yeah. what I mean. It ended up being the wrong one. And didn't get anything out of it. Doesn't and can use the force if you'd like. Yeah, might as well. Two hits. Yeah, can't kill the E-wing with that. Especially if it rolls two of eight. <laughs> Not today, the Ewing says. Oh no. All right. We may so, be getting a disconnect. I'm going to switch here to local cameras while I work on saving the game state just in case. All right. Looks like we got our first barrage rocket attack here. Sorry to go with the Ewing, but. Remember, Miranda is the ship in this game. Got two hits. It's going to be range three obstructed, though, onto Obi-Wan. Ooh, only rolls one. No other uh, paint here. Takes the healed shield back off. So that's only two hull remaining. And Red's got a Proton Torp if he wants it. No, we're going to go yellow first here. Try to conserve that last Proton Torpedo. I'll see if the Ewing can do it range two. I think you gotta you gotta put everything in Obi Wan here. You can't let him get out. Bastian is regretting his decision to fire with yellow first. I mean, there's a chance that Plo wasn't an arc, you know. So I, I see the reasoning. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to kill it with this shot, so... Yeah, unmodified, three dice. Spent the lock last round, so... Did not matter. Here we go. There's the last torp. Four dice. 
If you can get all four, it's game over, man, for Obi-Wan. This could be huge. Oh. Yeah, it's a good start. Got to spend. Got to get all four here. Can't let Obi-Wan get away. Who got three. Uh, Obi-Wan's... Uh, if he rolls a single blank, he's off the board. He oh. would have slides into two evades, just takes a crit. <laughs> Will it be a direct? It oh. is! Got him! Oh, we want to take it off of the board there with a roller coaster of a proton torpedo attack. That was great. A little bit of back oh, and that... forth there. That puts uh, Bastian ahead, 68 to 82, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where we have a range one from... Range one force attack onto that E-Wing, who does only have three health remaining. Could be his demise. Here we go. Three dice, one of each. Trail mix, two hits after spending... And you're going to end up with taking both of those. These E-Wings are on fire. Hey, but they're still on the board for right now. Had a potential. I mean, there was a world where both those E-Wings got dropped. Oh, 100%. Uh, so the fact that um, they got to spend another round shooting at yellow probably i mean red should be able to withstand two shots at least with that three hole unless it's a proton torpedo from anakin but we're in the scrum now so unlikely uh for that to uh, land a range two shot all right we have eight minutes left in round two of the galactic championships we're watching the tatooine qualifier We have anybody in the chat who's planning on playing in Hoth or Scarif? Let us know. Oh, sorry, Dingus was there because of me trying to fix a stream. <laughs> the the <laughs> other computer had failed. Dingus was working. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> what is Dingus? I'm sorry. Did oh, I... uh, the hand of Dingus. It's, yeah, it's a nickname. Well, uh. Dingus is like like a like a soft uh, word for uh, a mistake, a person making a mistake. Like a like how you might say someone's a turkey. No, I I, I know that part. I just I wasn't sure. Oh okay. oh yeah, the hand, the the, the white hand that. Oh appears. okay. <laughs> uh, they're gray hands. Sometimes it's gray. That's what I was missing. Okay, cool. Yeah, his, his nickname is is Dingus. Jonah, it's been too long. I know, right? Feeling out of the loop. Got to get <laughs> back into it. You'll be fine. Actually, I just remembered something else that we've done. We started doing since you went. Uh, you were you were on vacation, so I got to teach you that thing next. That thing next as well. <laughs> it's not okay. super complicated. It's just just another another thing. You'll see. You'll think it's cool. I hope. Did you miss me while I was gone, Dion? Of course. Did I ever come up? <laughs> did, did you guys ask? did you guys talk about me? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, at first, at first, uh, the uh, the chat was asking, like, did you did you fire Jonah? <laughs> <laughs> they were concerned. <laughs> they were concerned. <laughs> it's just like you know, it's just like you know, when Nick switched to doing more more editing. Did you fire Nick? <laughs> it was just, you, flip, just... you flip one table and you're out. Yeah, you're, you're done. <laughs> yeah, camp was fun, but uh, it was I I did miss X Wing for sure. I was kind of hoping that, uh, you know, like people thought it was pretty cool uh, that I played X-Wing. Like they people knew about it and I talked about it occasionally. Mm -hmm. But I was hoping that someone would be like, oh, you should totally bring your stuff and play. But that never happened. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, looks like we just got time in the round here. We will let these, let's see, these players are starting this round. Uh, if Jonah, if you could just whisper in their ears that this is the last round. Will do. All right. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't affect them too much. Um, maybe, maybe we might have seen some crazier maneuvers, but they should be keeping an eye on the global timber as well. Mm-hmm. I'm with they. They might end up using these four whole four minutes that they have on the clock anyway. Because this is this is an important turn as well. Trying to see where they can get get their points. Yeah, I see Miranda turned away here, assuming there might be another round. Or just keeping point. I mean, she's up on points, right? Like, yeah, ba goodbye. Bastian. Bastian's ahead. Like, I think that hard too was yeah. was a realization. Yeah. Like, nope, there's no, not the time. Yeah, I don't want to lose my points. Uh, which is really funny uh, to me. To see Miranda heal and then run away, like really sticking it to regen Jedi, like oh <laughs> uh, oh. Don't hate on the OG. <laughs> yeah, I was... like I'm OG healer run away. Yeah. <laughs> don't you dare try to stomp on my territory. Did that did that fit? No, no way that fit. I did didn't fit? See, I didn't see the bump marker. No, that One bank. Wow. That is... That is good. I mean, sitting in range one of red, so that's not good. Uh, with no evade, if you can't really bear roll. I mean, I think you have to, though. You gotta try, Tommy. Bear roll next to Plo Koon. Will that fit? I think he's got it. But he's, so he's, he's choosing he's aggression. Locking. Violence. I mean, what's the points counts on it? Uh... 58 to 68. I mean, that's a trade really to take. If you can take uh, yellow off and only lose half. Uh-huh. Well, here we go. That's a trade up. The, the attacks begin. You got range one and bullseye for the uh, for the red E-wing. Uh, and... No, I think you got to focus fire and guarantee yourself some points. There we go. Trying to get that one hit. You got one and a focus. Spend the force for two. See, this is where Tommy should have passed and censored. Oh, okay. He's fine, though. I was going to say, if, if Flo kills yellow, yeah, what a that, fool for that not would using <laughs> That would have been a, a, a note about passive censors, as <laughs> for sure. You spent points on it. Use it. There's no penalty. Absolutely none. Yeah, don't don't assume the outcome of passive sensors when you don't know the different state uh, of things. The only time is if you're facing against people who shoot before you with ion weapons, because then you can't take those actions. So, True. other than that, pretty much no penalty. Four die shot, hit crit. And that's a squiggle and a focus. Yeah. Just plings the shield. No big deal. Scratching the Not other half. shield there on Anakin. All right. Ewing had to spend the evade to, or spend the focus to live. Only one and hit. He's got a lock. No. Spend and for a two. Force? All right, two squiggles, easy. Looking for big money, big I, money. I, I still, does that put him in the lead? Nope. We'll find he, out. He's gone. And that brings Tommy 102 to 82. And I think, is is that is that the ball That's game? That's it. Anakin, Anakin shoots last. GG. All uh, right. Tommy Adams pulls it off at the very end. 102 to 82. Congratulations. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, 
and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out. <laughs>